So now let's discuss the paramyxovirus family. Do you remember the four viruses that make up the paramyxovirus family? That includes the parainfluenza virus, the respiratory syncytial virus, measles virus, and the mumps virus. Very good. Do you remember what kind of viruses they are? They are negative stranded RNA viruses. Very good. These viruses are most important causes of respiratory infections in infants and children under the age of five. Before we talk about each of them individually, there are a few important concepts shared by all the paramyxoviruses. All of the viruses contain a surface F or fusion protein. This is a key infectious protein that not only assists in infection, but causes infected respiratory epithelial cells to fuse and form multinucleated cells. These multinucleated cells are called syncytia. And this is why that RSV is caused respiratory, or called respiratory syncytial virus. If we remember that RSV is a paramyxovirus, we can remember that all paramyxoviruses form syncytia, which are multinucleated fusions of cells that form because of this unique F or fusion protein. For respiratory syncytial virus, which can cause severe bronchiolitis in infants, we can give a monoclonal antibody called pavalizumab, which is a monoclonal antibody against the fusion protein, which prevents bronchiolitis and pneumonia in premature infants. Now time for a flask quiz. Which monoclonal antibody can be given to children with RSV infection? That would be pavalizumab, the monoclonal antibody that binds to the F protein on the RSV virus, helping our immune system fight off the disease.